Welcome to my channel, Sunshine Shoulders. I'm Calvin. Thank y'all so much for stopping by again today. You know, life is good. I'm not sick, man. I'm still alive. And I'm thankful. You know, we were leaving the Airbnb yesterday, going down here to the boulevard in Dumaguete, and we went past a, a hospital. It's the same hospital John was in when he was sick. You know, I just looked at Merle and I said, you know what? I'm so thankful just to be alive and we're not sick. You know, sometimes we take that stuff for granted. So we got in the tricycle and came on down to the boulevard. And here we are looking at the same thing you're looking at. We're at the Yellow Cab Pizza Place. Sometimes you just have to pause. And soak it all in. Sometimes I get caught up in the wrong things and it takes away from my precious time. You know, time that I'm never going to get back. So there's no theme to this video. We just came down here to soak it all in. To enjoy the good times right now. Because life is good. I'm still alive and we're not sick. Our children are not sick. And one thing I'm going to tell you about Dumaguete, just for me pausing right here, and we were here for about an hour, is I can see the appeal that it has on international tours. Now, a lot of you may push back on this, but just sitting here looking out on the ocean and the, the the boardwalk is what I call it. It brings to man patio. Now patio is a lot more built up and modern, but it gives me that same feel. It has that same ambiance to it. And we just sat here for about an hour. We ate our pizza and we watched the world go by. And I'm going to tell you something, man. If you don't believe in the law of attraction, it's real. Because remember, we're excited. You know, we're thankful. We're, we're very grateful. That's the sort of mood we were in. And I'd be damned if a subscriber shows up. His name was Barry. He's from California. And this guy was on fire. He was so happy. It's his first time coming to the Philippines. And he's going to be here for 28 days and... He said, I'm trying to figure out a way where I can stay here for six months out of the year. I was looking at myself 15 years ago because that's exactly what I was thinking when I got here on my first trip. I mean, the minute I got off the plane, got settled into the hotel, got up the next day, went to the mall and just kind of, you know, piddling around. I was like, man, I love this place. I don't want to leave. I have to figure out some kind of way to spend more time here. And that's what he was talking about. That's the mood he was in. And we talked for about 20 minutes, man. Took some pictures together. It seemed like everybody I ran into yesterday was in a great mood. We had lunch with a guy from my hometown, believe it or not. His name was Jim and his beautiful fiance. They're about to get married. They're happy, of course, because they're getting married late on in the month. And life is good, man. You know, I got to stop sometimes, man, right before I start getting excited and, and let this foolishness take my attention, take my focus, and really take away from my precious time because you're not going to get that back. And if you can look in the background, you can see the wind is blowing, but what you can't see is the waves, man. They're really kicking up. And what I'm going to do is at the end of this video, I took like two minutes of waves. It's, it's at night, but I'm not going to say anything when we get to that. I'm going to just let y'all hear that, soak that in, and then just kind of think about your life as it is right now. You know, be grateful to be alive, man. You know, because it, it could always be worse. But I really love Dumaguete, man. It really, I mean, they've really 
fixed up this boulevard. When I came here in 2010, it was nothing like this. I mean, probably one third of the businesses, certainly 25% of the people. It's a bustling area now. You see a lot of tourists here. And they're really enjoying themselves. You know, these nice restaurants. Because we had a nice pizza here. 11 inch pizza. They say it it feeds three to four. But yeah, maybe three to four Filipinos. They ain't gonna, I could eat that thing myself. It was pepperoni. It was delicious. So if you're in Dumaguete, you're on the boulevard. There's so many choices. You know, if you like pizza... Because they sell pasta too. And try the yellow cab. It was really, really good. And then we had this new sparkling grapefruit juice. I wasn't too high on that. But anyway, what a view, man. What a time that we had. We just sat there. And then after we got finished eating, I, we went across the street and I took some footage of the waves because they were high. I mean, they were really... The, the ocean was really roaring and smashing against. These are rocks. If you look across there, that's a wall. And they were crashing against that. And I would have hate to have been out on that sea. But we saw a couple of ferries go out and they were on their way to Siki Hall. One was going and one was coming back. That's the type of water you don't want to be on. It's going to toss them little ships around. And I'm going to tell you, it's going to scare you. If it's never happened to you, yeah, that that's going to be an eye-opener. But yesterday was just a time for reflection, really. Sometimes I get caught up, man, in things that don't even matter, for real. They're not even important. They take away from my precious time, man. Time that I'm never going to get back. So I'm just thankful to be alive. Let all that other stuff go, man. It's going to take care of itself. Soak it all in. I paused yesterday for about an hour. And when you're looking at this video, you're watching this video, I'm not even going to have my phone today. I'm only going to be looking for one message. A guy's supposed to do a collab with me today. We'll see. If he contacts me, but other than that, I'm not gonna con I'm not gonna answer any comments. I'm gonna argue with anybody. I'm not gonna do anything on my phone. I'm gonna make it a point to put my phone down at least one day every week and have some peace, man, and focus on the things that really matter. Because me and Merlin, we really had a great time last night. It was just a simple time, really. I mean. If you're with somebody and you come to Dumaguete, it's very romantic, this boulevard is. I mean, they got a Starbucks. I mean, there's so many eateries and restaurants, bars. You're going to see the world famous Why Not Bar, which we were going to eat there, but we decided on pizza because I received a review. It said they got great food in the Why Not, and I was shocked. It just looks like a a party place. They said, no, Calvin, you need to go in there and try the food, especially the burgers. And this is from a guy we were actually eating in Ground Zero, another restaurant that has pretty good food, to be honest with you. But, yeah, we paused yesterday, man. I'm so glad we did. We walked past that hospital, and I just had a moment of clarity. And I was like, wow, man, I'm just so thankful to be alive. I let all that other stuff go, man. You know, I'm not worried about things that really don't matter. I'm alive. I'm breathing. I'm not sick. Man, life could be a whole lot worse, man. Life is good right now. I'm happy, man. I'm content. And I'm just going to ride this wave, man, really, for as long as I can, because who knows what tomorrow brings? Hell, who knows what the next moment's going to bring? But I just decided to get up and, and say this, man. There's no theme to this. There's no moral to this video. I just want people to join us on the boulevard 
eat this nice pizza. Barry, think he's headed back. He's leaving Dumaguete today. And I'm going to tell you something. He's doing a lot of traveling to be here for 28 days. I wouldn't suggest that. I just got off the WhatsApp with a friend of mine. He lives down in Florida. Him and his wife, they're coming in July. They're just going to rent. They're going to be here for 30 days. Well, five weeks. They're just going to rent one place and stay there. Because when you travel, it takes up a lot of your time, man. It eats up a lot of your time. Because two weeks, man, goes quick over here. Even one month goes quick, and you'll be like, damn, man, I got to leave already. But this is a paradise to me, man. You know, paradise is in the heart of the beholder, man. You know, I really mean that. I mean, everything is falling into place for me over here. So I'm not going to get caught up in that bullshit anymore, man. Sometimes I let my guard down, and I get drawn in by things that don't even matter. The only thing that really matters now is my life, my health, my time, my family, my children. And I can have all that here. Doesn't cost me a whole lot. You know, this was a pause moment because Marilyn needs to get away from time to time. When we're at home, she can't relax. She can't sleep. She thinks she's got to do everything. It's only when I take her outside of St. Carlos City even to Dumaguete, which is about four and a half hours south of where we live. She's like a new person. So, yeah, that's what I want you guys to, to do, man. Stop right now what you're doing and just think about your life, man, and just find some gratitude. You know, things could be worse. You could be sick or you could be sicker. You could be on your deathbed, but you're not. And this all came to me last night, man, because I take a lot of stuff for granted. But last night I didn't. And to, today I'm not. We're going to go to the gym. We're going to have a great time today. So thank y'all for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Help somebody today if you can, if it's not going to put your life in jeopardy, wherever you are. Because if I don't know anything else... I know this one thing for sure. We help other people. We help ourselves. Enjoy these waves. And remember, man, find something to be thankful for in these next two minutes. Take care.